Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests to make something Warcraft themed. The Warcraft movie just came out and I have a lot of friends who play Warcraft and World of Warcraft. I am a huge fan of Blizzard games and I am dressed up as a gnome, which are my favorite playable characters. They are very petite, they're tinkerers, and they've got a steampunk style. I feel like if I was a Warcraft character in real life, I would be a gnome. Today we are going to be making traditional Warcraft horde and alliance themed cookies. Let's get started! The things you will need will be 3 cups of all-purpose flour, 2 sticks of butter, 1 and a half cups of sugar, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of vanilla, and 2 eggs. Then you will also need 4 different colors of royal icing. I've dyed them black, blue, yellow, and red, and a circle cookie cutter. Now let's put it all together. The recipe that we're using today is an adaptation for my lemon sugar cookie recipe from the Nerdy Nummies cookbook. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our dry ingredients into this bowl. We're gonna add our flour, salt, and baking powder. Then we're gonna whisk it together until it's well combined. Next, we are gonna cream together our butter and sugar into a big mixing bowl. So I'm gonna put in my butter, add your sugar. Now I'm gonna mix together until our mixture is light and fluffy. I'm using my Wizomatic 5000, or you can use a hand mixer, whatever you got. It's light and fluffy. Now we are going to add our eggs. We are going to add them one at a time. Add the egg, mix it up, scrape down, then add your second egg, mix it up, and scrape down again. Then add your vanilla extract and mix it up one more time. Our wet ingredients are all mixed up, and now we are going to pour in all of our dry ingredients. And now we're going to mix it together, but you want to make sure it's on a low speed, otherwise you'll get a big dust cloud. Our cookie dough is mixed and it's ready to Chill. We're gonna wrap it up in plastic wrap. Now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge and let it chill for about two hours. Our dough has sat in the fridge, it's chilled, and now it's ready to roll out. We're gonna unwrap our dough. Yes! We're gonna take a little bit of flour, sprinkle it on top of our work surface so that the dough doesn't stick. And I'm gonna be cutting my dough in half and rolling it out half at a time so that it's a little bit easier to work with. Sprinkle a little flour on top and on your rolling pin and get to rolling. We're gonna roll it out about a quarter inch thick. Now we're gonna cut out our cookies. Take your circle cookie cutter and cut out as many as you can. Remove your excess dough. I'm gonna place these on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. This recipe doesn't spread very much. It really holds shape, so you can put these cookies pretty close. Once you've got your cookies on the tray, we are gonna bake them. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 12 to 14 minutes. While the oven is preheating, this part's totally optional, but I'm gonna pop these cookies in the freezer to help hold their shape while they bake. While our cookies are baking, we are gonna make some decoration details. These take a long time to set, so if you wanna make these the night before, you can do that. They take anywhere from eight to 12 hours. You'll wanna let them sit out at room temperature. Here, I've made two templates in Photoshop. One is a bunch of horde symbols, and one is a bunch of alliance symbols. I'll put a link down below, so if you wanna use these templates that I've made, you can, or if you'd like to make your own, you can do that as well. I've placed the piece of paper down on top of a cutting board so that I could move it around if I needed to. And then you're gonna place a piece of wax paper right on top and tape it down. I'm gonna start by piping the horde symbol first. And again, I'm using royal icing that I've dyed red. I've just placed it into a plastic baggie with a number two tip. When you're piping these, just take your time. I like to pipe the outline first and then fill it in. I move the icing around with a little toothpick. Got all of our horde designs done and now I'm gonna set these off to the side because I don't wanna bump them while I'm piping the alliance. That's the worst thing when you've piped all your cute designs and then you bump them with your elbow. I've done that. To pipe our alliance symbols, I'm gonna be using yellow royal icing. And again, I am using a number two tip. I'm gonna be tracing and filling in all of the white parts of the design. Once you're done, we're gonna let these sit out at room temperature, not in the refrigerator, just at room temperature for eight to 12 hours to completely dry. While our designs are drying, we are gonna ice our cookies. Our cookies are fresh out of the oven. I've given them plenty of time to cool. You don't wanna ice your cookies while they're still warm, otherwise the icing will 
goop off, it'll just kind of like melt. You know my date. We're gonna be icing half of them black and half of them blue. I'm gonna start with the black royal icing. I put it into a plastic baggie with a number three tip, a little bit bigger this time, and we're gonna pipe an outline all the way around the cookie. Now for the blue, we're gonna do the same thing. Pipe an outline all the way around our cookie. Next, we are gonna flood our cookies. Flooding is just when you fill in the cookie. So I like to make zigzags, I go back and forth. Then I'm gonna take a toothpick to just smooth out the icing. And then you're gonna do this to the rest of your cookies. Once you've iced all of your cookies, we're gonna let them sit out for about 10 to 20 minutes to set. Final step, it is time to assemble our cookies. I am gonna be placing our red horde designs on top of our black cookies and our alliance designs on top of our blue cookies. Over here I've got our designs, they have dried. What I like to do is take a pair of scissors, cut them out, don't bend them, and then with one of the shapes, I'm gonna very carefully, I like to get down here, yet even shorter, using the edge of the table to gently remove the design from the wax paper, and I'm gonna be using a sharp cutting knife like this to catch it. Gently pick it up and place it on top of your cookie. If you don't wanna deal with a sharp cutting knife, you can use a small offset spatula. You gotta go really fast. You press down your spatula and shoot it underneath. It's real fast, like a ninja. Lift and transfer. Last detail I almost forgot, we're gonna pipe the lion's little nose. Over here, I've switched to a number one tip. Just a little triangle right there. And we're gonna do this to the rest of our cookies. Ta-da! Here are the traditional Warcraft Horde and Alliance theme cookies that we made today. Whether you are for the Horde or for the Alliance, we've got some yummy treats. And a big thank you to you guys for suggesting something Warcraft themed. These were very fun and easy to make. I'll be taking lots of pictures of these cookies and posting them on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And if you guys make any themed Warcraft treats, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. I just get a big kick out of it, it makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, bye-bye.